Hi, my name is Patrick O'Brien Sevilla. Welcome to today's video exploring how we will create a pre-course survey using Qualtrics. First navigate to the academiccontinuity.yale.edu website. Select the four faculty section, how-to guides, and your pre-course surveys. In the pre-course survey section, you'll find a sample set of questions, and you'll find information on how to build a survey in Qualtrics and Microsoft Forms. Today we'll cover Qualtrics. We'll first start by creating a new survey and sharing the link. Navigate to the version of Yale software that you'd like to use. There are some schools that have specific Qualtrics instances, but I will use the overall university-wide system. When the system loads, You'll have a field. You'll have a, a, a open dashboard that displays all of the existing projects associated with your account. If you don't have any projects, this page will appear blank. In the right-hand corner, click Create New Project. Below, create your own. Click Survey. You'll note that blank project is highlighted with the blue bar below the title. Click Get Started. You can then start to add questions in this section and name your project. I'm going to name my project the Porvoo Center Pre Course Survey. My first question will be the first name of the students that I hope to survey. I'm going to change the question type to a text entry to allow them to enter their name. I'll then hit the Create a New Question button to add more questions. And I'll use the panel on the right to change what kind of type of question is displayed. You'll note that there are a multitude of question types. There's also the, up, the ability to upload a file, and there's the ability to collect meta info on the participants who are completing your survey. From there, you can preview your survey by clicking the preview button in the top right corner. Here we see the three questions that we've entered. We can remove that preview you can click the Publish button in the top right corner. You'll, you'll see a pop-up that says Publish Survey, and you'll hit Publish one more time. Your survey is now activated. You can copy the link or click this link in this pop-up window, and that's your anonymous survey link. You can also find that link by clicking the Distributions tab in the Distributions tab, you can click the Anonymous Link button on the left, highlight the link, and copy it. You might opt to use this link on your Canvas course site or in an email to your students. You can also um, visit qualtrics.com to find how-to guides on how to use the email function or generate personal links for each of your students. We're now going to navigate back to the main page of Qualtrics, and we'll focus on how to retrieve results from a Qualtrics survey. Now the surveys, the first two surveys in my dashboard do not have any responses, and you'll see that in the responses column with the total number of responses for the surveys. But we can click on the project named Guided Support Feedback, where I have 26 responses. In this survey, I'll download the responses by clicking the Data and Analysis tab. Then I'll click the Export and Import drop-down menu. I'll click the Export Data button. A Download a Data Table pop-up window will appear, and I'm going to opt for the Excel version of this download. 
I leave download all fields and use choice text as the settings for this download and click download. That will generate a file that is downloaded to my computer. I can then locate that file in my downloads folder. And you'll see that it's downloaded as an XLSX file type.